Okay, we do some bending technique. Um, uh, some people call them pedal steel type bends, country guitar style bends, uh, multiple string bends. But um, anyway, they sound pretty cool, I think. And we're gonna use these bends and we're gonna play through a, a, a simple chord progression. D, D7, G, A7, back to D. But we're gonna do it like this, again, using bending. So. So again, that's D, D7, G6 actually, G, A7, resolves back down to the D. Okay, so how we do this? So in this kind of bending, a lot of it's about destination. So our first chord, again, we're doing this little D triad up here. You know, it looks like your F triad down at the first fret. So this is um, a D triad, and what we're gonna do is, this F sharp on the third string, we're gonna um, start it at the ninth fret, which is an E. We're gonna refinger this, so pinky on the high string, third finger on the second string, uh, second finger on the third string, and then we're gonna bend this, that note on the ninth fret, so it's equal to the note on the eleventh fret, or up to the F sharp. So now we're making this, we're making that chord using doing this. And while that's and while that note is up there, I'm gonna lift my pinky up, play the C on the first string. And that now it's a D7. And then I release that. So we have And when we release that, actually that's an A minor triad. Um, so really, so if there's guys playing, you know, a D7, or you have a play, bass player playing a D, it's going to come off like a D9, uh, which is just a fancier D7. Okay, and then it goes to um, the G, but we're going to do, play, make this D shape here, and then, um, but we're going to leave our first finger free to help this note, uh, to help this note push up. So we have, when we have this D shape, this note on the third string, we push it up a whole step. It's making a G6, which blends in perfectly with just a regular G chord. And then come off it. So now up to there, it's G6. Release that to just G. And when you're doing these, um, couple of things like when you see I'm grabbing them I'm, I'm really I, my thumbs wrapped around I'm squeezing it and the note you're bending always uh, at least in my mind you always bend it a little more than you think you have to to get it in pitch I'm really squeezing that okay so now after that G now we're shooting for the a7 so we're going to start with this shape at the 5th fret. And this is actually makes a D chord as it is like just like this. And now we have our uh, pinky on the 2nd string and the 3rd finger on our 3rd uh, string, both at the 7th fret there. And when you push those two notes like that, what naturally happens when, when that 3rd fret, when that 3rd string note goes up a whole step, the note on the second string naturally goes up a half step, which is what we want. So this is going to become this. So that F sharp is going up to G, and that D is going up to the E. But it's going to do it like this. And again, you see it now, I have my second finger helping my third finger push. When you have that second finger, it helps push the note and it also helps push that other string out of the way. So that's the A7 back to D. 
So again, the whole thing is. And as far as your uh, your plucking hand, you can use a pick, you can strum them, you, you know, it doesn't matter what. You can finger pick them. Um, and so, again, so you can use that as a fill, you know, you have other guys playing chords and you want to do something a little different, that's something you can do. So anyway, I um, hope you have some fun with that and uh, you find it somewhat interesting. And uh, that's it. All right, so thanks so much. Till next time. All right, bye.